don't normally see street art, it's doing street art. They're normally undercover. They, they, they like, you know, they like spiders. They like to, you know, keep in the dark. But for me, uh, um, you know, I see myself as a, a, an art vigilante that goes out and, you know, just gets rid of the old walls and graffiti. For everyday people that don't go to art galleries, you know, I use the streets as my gallery. Police, people are stuck in their heads about graffiti, graffiti, graffiti. But when they see someone like me in the street, you know, with a high vis jacket on, drawing and painting. Brilliant. Thanks, thanks, thanks so guys. So that, yeah? They see me as, you know, like, like a member of the community. I like to use the environment to my advantage. Finding you know, these rundown spots is the best idea. Why try and waste your time finding a building that looks nice? Why, why ruin that? But having been rejected from the galleries and, you know, not knowing what to do with my art, I kind of realised, you know, in, you know for, for these people to, to, to grab their attention, I, I had to make a brand name, you know? I used to be a builder. Uh, my uncle always says, uh, mix artwork that reflects your environment. So I came up with these uh, builder demons and I put them on building sites around London. I do like to work with the um, British flag theme. You know, it's where I'm from, you know? I'm, I'm, you know, I, I was born in um, England, London, and you know, that's where I live. Success to me in art is inspiring other people. So, you know, me doing the, art, the street art, drawing it, then thinking, yes, yeah, finished, I'm going home now. I'll go home and forget about it and do another one. But whilst I'm at home forgetting about it and working on a new piece, you know, there's people out there who are, are walking past it, taking photos. And there's kids out there, you know, yeah, who are using that for their art projects.